So after seeing this, and this, I decided that it'd be a good idea to show you how autosave works in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's jump into it. Okay, so if you're coming from DaVinci Resolve 14 and going to 15, there's a slight difference with the autosave. And if you're just coming in to DaVinci Resolve and 15's your first one, the autosave feature is a little robust and it just isn't called autosave. So let's jump into what that actually is. Uh, first things first, I would save the traditional way of just hitting Control S. The other thing that you'll notice is right up here, anytime you make an edit, it will say edit up here. Um, progressively, as time goes on, this will change colors until it gets to like a red and then it'll stay red, like warning, you know, you haven't saved in a while. So Control S to save and then that goes away. Um, what I saved there was I saved this current project and that's key to remember there. I saved this current project. So if we come up here to DaVinci Resolve and then go to Preferences and go over to User and we go to Project Save and Load down here for Save Settings, there's a couple of different settings here. I think by default, nothing's turned on. I'm not 100% there. So live save is anytime you make a change it's going to save the project file so you make an adjustment automatically saves that project file it's live it's live saving any adjustment auto save so that's pretty self-explanatory then coming down to the project backups how this works is with the auto saving or without the auto saving this will perform backups Backups are a little bit different than the live project file. They're separate. So you could be doing backups, but not saving the live file, or you could save the live file a lot and not have backups. Uh, enabling the backups, what then happens is our first line here will perform uh, backups every X amount of minutes. And what this is going to do, so right now we have every five minutes, but let's say we take this to 10 minutes, right? So every 10 minutes, what's going to happen here is every 10 minutes, it's going to then make a backup. It won't affect the live file. So if I, if I start a project, I save it once and these backups could happen and they'll have all the information, but I don't save the live file. The live file will only represent the last time I saved not the last time I backed up. Backed up files are completely different. If I wanted to go to the backup files, I'll, then, I'll show you later how you access the backup files. But if I was to have this set at 10 minutes, what's gonna happen every 10 minutes, backup file. Then every hour, it's going to take the last backup file and save that as an hourly backup. And then the every 10 minutes aspect. So here, let me grab a uh, paint so I can explain this a little bit better. Okay, so we have every, every 10 minutes, we're gonna be making files, right? At the end of an hour, we're gonna have six files. Okay, we're gonna have six files. What's gonna happen then, when it goes to create the six file, it's going to also make, it's gonna represent, one of those files is gonna represent an hourly backup. So it's gonna take the last one, so this one here, and it's gonna be represented as an hourly backup, okay? And then what we have here, we're gonna save for the last two hours. So our first hour, we saved a, an hourly backup. Then our next hour, what's gonna happen when I create a new file, when I create a new file, it's gonna get rid of the first one that was previously created. So this first file, it's gonna get rid of that. And it's gonna save all of these in this one. So the 10 minute or the minute files 
the, the perform every X amount of minutes, it's gonna have six files at all times, right? And then the next hour, we're going to take whatever the, this last file is, we have all these other files, right? Let's, you get it. We have all these files at the end here, we're gonna then take that file, or when we make that file, and we're gonna create another one. And then that's how this hourly backup works. At the end of the next hour, we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna get rid of this one and make another one. And then that's how that process works. In the same way with daily, what happens with daily is at the end of a session. So when you're done at the end of a session, it will then create one of these files per day. So at the end of your session, it's gonna create one of those files and it'll save it for two days. Now, if you leave your program open for an extended amount of time, you don't want all of these to be identical because it wouldn't make any sense. So if you get up and you know you go to a meeting or whatever it may be, and you need to go back to a backup, you don't want all of these backups to be identical. So DaVinci knows when you're not adding any changes and it's going to stop this process until you make another change and become active again in the program. So if you left for a 30 minute span, it's going to pause its increments of 10 minutes until you come back and become active again to then do that next backup. So that's how this process works. And then down here, this is just stating where they're saved. So let's jump into how you actually retrieve one of these backups. So we'll close this and we'll close this. And then I'm just gonna come down here to get all of my projects and we're working on this one right here. We're just gonna come down to uh, project backups. And right here, here's my current backups that I have. This is the project name, then the a year, month, day, time. And, oh, it's over here as well. Um, and then you can just click on whichever one you want, load, and then it'll load that. And then if you want it to, you could then save that as a different project name. And then if you save it as a different project name, then it'll pop up here as a different project. So that's pretty much it. You have the two features, which is the live save and then the backups. And between those two, you shouldn't have any problems with, you know, losing work because of a crash or um, forgetting to save. Um, but, you know, just like, I don't know if it's me personally, but old school ways, I'm always hitting uh, control S to save when I'm, you know, in the middle of something and, you know, continuing on that process. And that's pretty much it for a how to save slash auto backup in DaVinci Resolve 15. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you have any ideas, suggestions, let me know down there as well. Again, my name is JR and thanks for watching.